How you doing, everybody? Today, we're going to take a quick look at Deep Water, directed by Adrian Lin and starring Ben Affleck and Anna de Armas. Affleck plays Vic Van Allen, a robotics engineer that developed some kind of guidance chips that made him a shitload of money, and he's been able to retire pretty early. He lives in a very nice house in a small Louisiana town, along with his smoking hot wife, Melinda, played by Anna de Armas, and their daughter, Trixie. Vic and Melinda are in an open marriage, which they do not seem to be equally happy about. It works out pretty good for Melinda at first, but then her lovers start to turn up dead. This is something I really did not expect to see in the year of our Lord 2022. An erotic thriller. This type of movie is something of a lost art. We haven't really seen much of it since the early 21st century. I've talked about why this is in other videos, but the short answer is internet porn basically replaced the pause and toss. And not only is it weird to see an erotic thriller in 2022, but one that actually has some honest-to-God effort behind it. And because it clearly had honest-to-God effort, it's a little surprising that it did not go to theaters, which I believe was the original plan, and instead ended up on Hulu. But then there's probably not all that much demand for a movie like this in 2022, so I guess Hulu made them a better offer than they thought they were going to get from the box office. But that doesn't mean there's no audience for a type of movie like this. I mean, if you desire to see Ben Affleck bury his face in Anna de Armas' ass, this is the movie for you. I'm not making that up. And even more surprising than the fact that we have an erotic thriller in 2022 is the fact that this movie was directed by Adrian Lin, who has not been in the director's chair for 20 years. And Lin has done movies like Nine and a Half Weeks and Unfaithful, so he clearly has some experience with the genre. And for what it's worth, the movie is shot very well. That small Louisiana town looks fantastic. As does Anna de Armas' ass. And speaking of, de Armas and Affleck are both very good in this movie. They are playing a couple who are technically still married, but certainly not happily married, if indeed they ever were. And Melinda has agreed not to divorce Vic as long as she gets to fuck whoever she wants. And I suppose there's no rule that says Vic can't do that as well, but he doesn't seem to be all that interested in sleeping around. And even though it's not something they really talk about publicly, the open marriage is something of an open secret among their friends, because there are no secrets in a small town. And Vic is just desperately trying to keep his family together, but really, I'm not sure why. It kind of seems like a lost cause. Melinda is just constantly sleeping around, or drunk, or sometimes both. But for whatever reason, Vic wants to keep this family together, and there is very little he will not do to achieve that goal. If nothing else, this movie shows why staying together for the children is a flawed philosophy. Now, even though this movie does seem like a relic from another time, I did find it to be pretty engaging at first, but it lost me a little bit about halfway through. At first, it starts out like something of a murder mystery. Uh, there's a moment where Vic and Melinda are at a party, and someone brings up the name of one of Melinda's previous lovers who has gone missing, and Vic says, oh, he's not missing, he's dead. I killed him. And at first he laughs it off like, just kidding, I wouldn't actually do that. But clearly he is not happy with his wife's behavior and is insanely jealous. And you have to wonder just how far does that jealousy go? But about halfway through, the mystery just gets thrown right out the window. And then it becomes less about, do we have a killer in this small town? And more about, will said killer get away with it? And I did not find that nearly as interesting. But I still stuck with it because I was genuinely curious where this would lead to. Like, is Melinda going to figure out what's going on? And if she does, how is she going to react? And I'm not going to give too much away, but I will say I wasn't all that satisfied with the ending. This is based on a book, and maybe the book tells this story better. Maybe they changed a few things. I don't know. But by the end of the movie, I was not all that into it. I would still say it's a decent movie. I don't regret seeing it. Now, the fact that I didn't have to pay any extra money to do so probably has something to do with that, but still, it was okay. And if you have Hulu, or I think outside the United States, it's on Amazon, I suppose there are worse ways to spend two hours, though you will definitely want to put the kids to bed first, unless you want to explain to them why Ben Affleck is diving headfirst into Anna de Armas' ass. Why do I keep bringing that up? What is wrong with me? 
Anyway, that's all I have to say about deep water. Till next time, take care.